Anna Bright coming off of uh, big wins in uh, in Austin this weekend. Congratulations. How'd that feel? Thank you. No, it felt great. It felt, um, I was in a weird headspace the rest of the day. I just went on a walk. I got a massage. I was, it was very strange. Very strange. Uh, it was, yeah, it was an interesting tournament because James pulled out. He had a hurt shoulder and Andre was able to fill in for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you guys kind of did what no one's been able to do and knocked off Anna Lee and Ben, uh, in a final mm -hmm. that, that was pretty awesome. And, and Rachel and you, uh, took down Anna Lee and Catherine. Yeah. Uh, really crazy that kind of it happened on the same day. Like just one of those two things happening would have been huge deal and I would have been so happy but just the way it all kind of came together and of course a lot of things fell like in in my and Rachel and Andre's favor with the weather and weird conditions and everything that's always going to favor underdogs but yeah I don't know it was really crazy really crazy day um so we're here at uh in New Orleans for the YOLO launch of the new paddles uh your new Scorpius paddle the alpha that we've seen you play with can you show us that thing real quick Look at this that. Is championship paddle. This is the one I use this week. That's the one. This is the one. So, <laughs> so are you donating that to the kitchen? Probably not. <laughs> Fair enough. Probably keep using it for a little while. <laughs> um, so, so, so this paddle, uh, we had the opportunity to play with it yesterday. So much power, mm -hmm. um, but also incredible touch and, and grit. And tell me, what are your feelings of it? Obviously, it's working. You, you're right. you're winning. Uh, not to say that it's only the paddle, but certainly it's as good a paddle as I've ever played with. What, what are your thoughts on it? It's great. It's just when I get asked to compare this to the OG, basically the only thing I can say is it's just better. It's just kind of better um, in every way. And I think what's new about this paddle that I haven't experienced with any other paddle is that increase in dwell time. I never really understood what that was or what that could do, but I feel like that has just unlocked new shots from here. There were some shots that specifically Annalie could hit that I just didn't really understand how they were possible. But then I started messing around with this paddle and I I could kind of understand. And um, it's funny actually, when they first like presented me with this alpha version, I was like talking to my dad and I was like, I don't really want to use this. I want to keep using mine. So people will see me using mine and want to buy mine. But then I tried it, I was like, oh, I have to use this. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> well, they're both yours. They are both mine, yeah. This one. Will be available soon. <laughs> uh, I look forward to it. So, you know, I, I, I see that you're wearing eye protection. Mm -hmm. um, the game's getting faster. And I think, in part, part of it's tennis players coming in. We're seeing more and more tennis players. You're a tennis player. So, mm -hmm. um, not, not unlike your journey to this game, uh, we're seeing players that hit really hard. And I think James is a good example of that. Right. He hits the ball as hard as anybody, as, as hard as any shoulder can, can right. put up with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so it, it, but it's changing the game, right? The ability, and I think these paddles, this paddle in particular, but not alone. I, there are other paddles out For there sure. and we're seeing more and more paddles of this ilk coming out. Does it worry you? Is it good for the game? Um, you know, it's, thankfully that's not really my decision, but um, I do think that this line of paddles is really revolutionary and, and others like along the same vein, I kind of think of it as an arms race. Mm -hmm you know, and it's on the regulatory bodies to kind of set those limits and enforce them. You know, I think Ben Johns has talked about needing to go to the kinds of tests that velocity, exit velocity mm -hmm. tests, right? Like that's probably the direction that we need to go because um, the paddles are, you know, I, I don't really know how, how much better they can get within the current rules, but I'd say a lot of the reason that I started wearing eye protection is not just about the speed of the paddles. It was largely just the, the ricochets. I don't think that that gets talked about enough. Like, and I had a close call um, in practice, like in December, maybe, like we're just, you know, off my partner paddle, like hit me kind of like right here. And so that's a big reason. I, I had been wearing them in practice for a while, but then I started doing it in tournaments kind of shortly after, shortly after that. So it is a big deal though. Like I think Deco Bar, when he switched from engaged to this, like he's serving way bigger. His first drive is, is way bigger, getting more curve. Like I think this paddle kind of combines some of the best elements of other paddles, right? Like you had the Proxar that was known for its grit and spin. And I think this paddle is very close with much more pop, right? So it's definitely interesting, but I, I kind of think of it as an arms race or, uh, you know, just a race to kind of push the bounds as much as possible. And, um, you know, get the best, like pushing 
just engineering bounds and it's, it's kind of on other entities to kind of decide what's best for the game and to rein it in. I think that like men's doubles has become more fun to watch, you know, and, and maybe, you know, people are going to start wearing glasses a little bit more, but it's been more fun, right? So it's, it's interesting. I don't really know. If you were to, uh, if I empowered you with making the rules, where where would you take it? Would you from from a from a paddle you know stance? Would you would you dial it back a little bit? Would you change something with the grit, power, both, neither? I might dial back power a little bit, uh, especially. You know, it would be great if it's interesting because tennis doesn't really. I understand like ping pong has these kinds of issues um, with people pushing the limits, but tennis is not really a big deal. Like what racket you use, like it's really not a huge deal. So it's kind of strange and foreign to me in that in pickleball it really does seem to matter kind of the paddle um, maybe that's just because we're in an earlier stage of development but in, it would and, be... and we're closer i think that's the other thing is that we're playing like yeah yeah you become no, a you're target right, right? you're like... right yeah and and i think the um the pros and cons of things in tennis like of having tighter or looser strings are are a bigger deal and a more personal choice um so i mean i'd also if... i'd also argue that tennis has become less interesting because of the serve game baseline. Yeah, I mean, totally. The, the I, craft I of the serve and volley is not there anymore, where that's what pickleball is so intriguing, that we have this game within the game of how do you get up to the kitchen line? Are you going to just bang away from the baseline? I, I don't think it's probably for the health of the game, the integrity of the game, that just hitting ridiculous drives from the baseline is going to be great for the sport or for the viewing. I don't know. I think that's better than like 50 ball dink rallies. I think it depends. I think the, the integrity of the game is different. Like the game is going to keep evolving and changing. I think you just, it'd be cool if everyone played with something pretty standard. I think for the men's game, softer paddles uh, or a slower ball would be good and kind of make it to be more like women's, right? Because right now they can all just hit so hard that speed ups are sometimes, um, just ill-advised differently from the women's game. Uh, I think that would be cool, but I think the, the 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 new ball has plenty of faults, but one thing is it has kind of favored like a lot of this faster play, which has made things interesting. Yeah, the Vulcan you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And when, if you- The new ball at the PPA Pro level, I'm not saying, not everyone is using it obviously, but the new ball I'm using. Sure, sure. And do you play with different balls or are you practicing exclusively? No, I only put, I only play with the ball that I'm gonna play my matches with, right? Like if I'm practicing with, um, uh, like other players that are about to play an APP, like I'll use, I'll use, uh, I think they're using a Franklin, like for sure. But unfortunately, yeah, most of my Duras have become a bit obsolete at the moment. What is MLP playing with, you know? I don't know. I don't know. No, I, I, I'll be interested actually, because I, I think they had a deal with Franklin, but now it's merged. I, I don't know. That's probably, they're, that's probably something they're figuring out. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Anything you want to tell our kitchen? viewers what happened to the drop oh. everyone wants to know where's Anna and Dylan Anna and Dylan had to take a break there's too much uh, for me personally it was hard with both Dylan and I traveling to do something consistently at a high level of quality and then also like with with all the drama going on it, I hated being expected to talk about it and potentially put myself in a compromised position right? Say too much, say too little, say the wrong thing, upset the wrong party. It was best to just call it at that very tumultuous and very stressful time. So it's kind of a twofold decision, I think. All right. Fair enough. We'll respect that. Appreciate the time, Anna. Thanks.